World TV here with Tyler Clary at the Orlando Grand Prix. Almost done, one more session to go, finals for day three. How are you feeling? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. You're doing a lot of events or some tough doubles. Is that part of your plan in getting back into to shape? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I came, I, like I said the other day, I, I'd taken three months out of the water and came back a little heavier than I thought I would. So I'm uh, doing everything I can to get back in shape as quickly as possible. And I think it's working out well and my, my strokes are starting to come around and I'm starting to look more fit, according you, to Rowdy, apparently. <laughs> are you doing anything outside of the water to get your fitness levels back? Um, I mean, I, anything, mostly water training. Mostly water training, doing a little bit of weights. Uh, I'm actually thinking about starting up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu again. It was something I was doing before the Olympics. Um, you know, kind of cutting back on the weights a little bit. But other than that, I mean, just normal stuff. So are you happy with where your performance has been in this meet in Orlando? Yeah, so far. I mean, uh, the 4 a.m. the 4 a.m. was decent. You know, I, I didn't go as fast as I did in Austin, but the the last part of it, you know, wasn't um, wasn't probably a, a full effort because I knew I was going to have a lot of swims later later in the meet. And then, you know, yesterday I was really happy with the two fly. I was faster in the in the two fly than I was in Austin, and my hundred back was one of the better ones I've done in a long time. And then you know, this morning I had some good swims, and I'm hoping to have a pretty strong double tonight. The 400 IM that was the event where the, the field started chasing you down at the very end. Did you know they were that close to you? Yeah. No, I had I had a, I, my eye on them. I believe time. that was Connor Dwyer was yeah. was next to you. I had my eye on them. Um, I knew that you know they were going to be coming up pretty hard, but you know my plan was just to just to get my hand on the wall ahead of those guys, and uh, you know because of how tired we are right now, I didn't really feel the need to to crush myself on that last hundred. So you know that being said, you know, I, I was really impressed with how quickly those guys came up. I mean they had a lot going at the end. What's great about a lot of the Olympians this year is you guys have a lot going on outside of the water. Now, first, let's start talking about this race car rumors that are going around and your involvement with race cars. What's been going on since you wrapped up London? Uh, I've gotten a chance to, to test out a few race cars. Uh, I got to dro drive a, a trophy truck for Strong Home Motorsports out in Barstow, and that was amazing. I got to race in a pro buggy for them in Lake Elsinore. I also got to race a, or I'm sorry, test a Pro Cup stock car in Kenley, North Carolina for SR2 Motorsports. And recently I was selected for the IndyCar Academy for, uh, for the Skip Harbor Racing School and ended up placing 13th out of 33 in the country, which was awesome. I was very proud of that result. And um, upcoming, I'm actually doing the Toyota Celebrity Race at the, the Long Beach Grand Prix with the IndyCar event. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So how serious is becoming a race car driver? I mean, it's it's the next step I want to take after you know I'm done swimming, and I want to turn that. It, it's interesting hearing people hearing people asking me certain questions about it, you know, because they I can tell some people think it's almost like a, like a publicity stunt, but that's not true at all. Like I want to take a serious step towards making it um, a, a serious business venture after I'm done. Do you think it will affect your swim training at all, building up to Rio? The plan for the next three and a half years is to fully focus on Rio, but. I think there are opportunities during the year to actually, you know, get in some races and develop as a driver. And I think it's going to work out in everybody's best interest if I, you know, if I can pull that off correctly. And I think I can. Um, I've got things scheduled for, you know, post World Championships and in kind of like the off season. That really won't take too much away from training, if at all. So either way, it's going to. Uh, the years are going to be very action packed and a lot of fun. Right after London, there was a lot of buzz about the DJ practice that you're getting into. Is that still on the table? Yeah, I, I'm not as active as, as I was after the Olympics. Um, I got the chance to DJ it. I got the DJ or chance to DJ at China White a couple of times, which is a lot of fun. It's a great, great club. And uh, recently, I was contacted by one of the other clubs in London called Movita, who are interested in having me come back out. But um, locally, I'm planning on starting up kind of an internet radio show, uh, maybe once or twice a week, just to kind of mix and start a little bit of a following and let people listen to what I do on the decks. Very nice. All right. So last Austin Grand Prix, we noticed that you did the four. I am cold turkey. That was due to a bet with Ryan Lochte. There's been rumors that there's something that's supposed to happen every Grand Prix meet. 
Can you give us a little insight as to what that's about? <laughs> For whatever reason, both Ryan and I have kind of forgotten it this week, but uh, I'm going to ask him later on if there's going to be a deal for tonight. I'm sure he'll figure something out. But there, I've told him that he can make a deal for me every meet, and it can involve anything from you know buying one another dinner to, to something. But I have to do something in the pool that usually ends up being very painful for me. But I've told him that he gets two cold turkey swims to give me per year, one of which was in Austin. So I'm sure he's saving up the other one for a really opportune moment. <laughs> well, we can't wait for those. All right, oh. thanks, Tyler. Good luck tonight, and we'll see you at the next Grand Prix. Thanks.